That's what took place here. Satan's power is death, and so Christ conquered Satan by death, by the very thing that was his, his strength. And it says in verse 15, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Now how complete was this victory? This is what I want us to see here. Was this just a temporary victory that now, after the cross, we've got to engage in again ourselves and try to finish? No. It says here he spoiled them, verse 15, having spoiled principalities. Uh, that word spoiled means to wholly strip away, to completely disarm. That's the word that's used there. And it's an interesting tense. It's a once for all aorist action, but it's in the middle voice. And I know that doesn't mean a whole lot to you, but what middle means is by myself. He by himself spoiled principalities and powers. I know that doesn't come across in the translation, but that's the sense of the verb, he spoiled. By himself. You know, we sing that, we hear that song sung, he could have called 10,000 angels to destroy the world. And that, no, he, by himself. By himself. And you find that, you know, throughout scripture, he by himself purged our sins. He's not now bearing the sin of his people where he's seated in the heavens. You realize that? The sin bearing is over with. Either he finished the work or he didn't. When he ascended on high, he ascended victorious. He led captivity captive. There is no more sin to be born than what he has already born and put away. See, this is where people today still haven't figured it out because they're down here thinking that the death of Christ is an example. The death of Christ is a down payment, but oh, it's up to us now to get in here and work it. Work what? You think that if Christ hadn't borne your sin, somehow you're going to be able to put it away? If he didn't bear it, there remains nothing but condemnation for you. And if he bore it, there is no more sin. I'll tell you, when the Lord showed me that, I rested. It was like letting the air out of a balloon. It was flat. To realize that not only when he died, he died for my sins past, he died for my sins present, and he died for my sins yet to be committed. Has to be. Because he's no longer the sin bearer. It's finished. He humbled himself. There's that divine stoop humbled himself, and became obedient unto death. So here we see for God's law and justice to be satisfied, he had to work out that perfect obedience to the law, to his precepts, but also the penalty, the wages of sin is death. So he must needs have perfectly obeyed that law to the satisfaction of his father and then laid down his life, even though he did nothing with which to deserve it.